Well, I would say breathing a sigh of relief, but that was a hot, steamy <laughs> breath today. <laughs> hard to breathe oh, today. Oh, hot breath it? today. Ooh. Actually, we had some storms across South Carolina and still some rumbling tonight. Look at Doppler Max 11 radar. This is up by the Augusta area, south of Columbia. See some lightning attached with that. That's the very north edge of our Doppler Max 11 radar. Now, from the perspective of the regional radar, the severe thunderstorm watch has just been canceled across South Carolina and North Carolina. Heaviest storms, though, continuing here in the Raleigh area. In fact, we had some damage with some of these storms. Hail damage earlier reported in a lot of locations, including the Charlotte area and just uh, north of, of Charleston. That all is going to continue to move off to the east. It's not going to be a problem as this front continues to slide farther and farther to the south. Noon tomorrow, it's in this position, entering the state of Georgia, South Carolina, sweeps through by Wednesday, Wednesday noon. But look, it just washes right out. High pressure takes over, and that's how we're going to start the holiday weekend before this high shifts offshore, and we'll be opening the door for another chance of showers and thunderstorms later in the weekend. Look at Future Max. You've got some afternoon showers and thunderstorms, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, kind of over the coastal empire, but this time not in South Carolina, a little farther south, expected to cross some of our Georgia counties, and then that will rain itself out. We'll finish the night just like we've finished for this evening. What's next in the tropics? This is Tropical Depression number 12. Off the African coast, this is moving west-northwest at about 15 miles an hour, still rather disorganized, but some of the computer plots have already started to give us a sense of where this might go. By Saturday evening, you're looking north of the Leeward Islands, and this is expected to curve and perhaps, as Pat Prokop likes to call it, will just be a big fish storm, and that would be very nice indeed. 97 was today's high. Yep, it was hot. Just one degree shy of the record. We're almost eight inches now below normal in precipitation. We'd like to see some rain. 83, our current temperature. Winds are calm. Check the relative humidity. It's still very high at 85 percent. Doppler Max 11 forecast for tonight. Warm and muggy. Watch for patchy fog developing late night as well. Our south winds continuing to diminish. 74 should be our overnight low. We'll see low 70s farther inland. Tomorrow, another partly cloudy to mostly sunny day. A 20% chance of mainly late day showers and thunderstorms. High of 91 with that east breeze a little cooler on the beaches. Heat index still at 98. 74 tomorrow night. 89 Wednesday as that front pushes through and there's that 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms. 89 for Thursday as well. We start the weekend at 89, but add that chance of afternoon, late day showers and thunderstorms right through the holiday weekend, upper 80s, around 90, even some mid 80s possible on Monday, Labor Day. But for the weekend, scattered afternoon and early evening showers and thunderstorms, indeed a real possibility. Another opportunity for you to pick up a weather radio if you'd like to join us this Thursday. That's the 1st of September. We'll be at the Kroger on Ogeechee Road at Ber Berwick Plantation, U.S. 17. From 10 a.m. until 7 p.m., the entire WTOC SkyTrack weather team will be there, along with many members of our WTOC staff. Come join us. We've got the weather radios. We'll program those for free. Buy them at Kroger. We'll get you some hurricane tabloid information as well. A lot of other good stuff as well. Thanks, John.